Have you heard the concept of keyword stuffing? It's not like Thanksgiving and stuffing a turkey. It's not delicious and it's definitely something you do not want to do. I'm going to show you why keyword stuffing is the number one way in which to get banned by Google. Make sure to watch to the end because I'm going to show you some easy ways to not keyword stuff, but to actually use keywords effectively in your marketing. SEO has a lot of myths. And one of the myths is I want to use the keyword as many times as I can, as long as I can on a page. This is also called keyword stuffing. Not like the stuffing from Thanksgiving, unfortunately, but putting in way too many keywords in all the wrong places. So let me walk you through some of the elements so that you're not ever seen as stuffing, which will get you in trouble with Google. All right. So these are four of the main areas that I see people stuffing keywords, meaning that I'm going to put tons and tons of keywords in the title or the title tag of the website. The title is the blue line that shows up in search results and people will just misuse this like no one's business. They'll put, we do this and we do that and we do this and we do that. And it's like a smorgasbord of keywords that's in the title tag. No, no, no. This is that blue line that shows up in search results. So you want your company name and one keyword phrase. This is called the title tag. Okay. You get 60 characters for this bad boy. Now, when you Google yourself, you will see that blue line right above your domain name. That's called the title tag. Just keep it simple and sweet and don't stuff keywords there. Another keyword stuffing tactic is on images. So when you name images, yes, it's fine to name the image keyword one.jpg, but don't put keyword dash keyword dash keyword dash keyword dot JPEG. Aren't you smart? Put all those keywords in there? No. Again, Google is pretty darn smart. They got smart people there. They have figured out all the deceptive practices you could possibly imagine. Do not stuff keyword names and definitely do not stuff the alt text. Now what the alt text is, is when you're behind, let's say in your web page or your web designer, they are going to upload the image and then they're going to put an alt text. Now an alt text is when you scroll over it and a little box pops up. That is actually for people with disabilities who are either hearing impaired or visually impaired. They're going to roll over that and the alt text gets read to them. So the alt text is what actually tells the person with that disability that they, this is what you're looking at right now. So it's very important. We don't stuff there. You just want to put the keyword of what the image is about. The next one is stuffing. So keywords and content is like a cupcake. You can roll it in sprinkles or you can just gently sprinkle them on top. So keywords are not rolling it in sprinkles. We're not trying to paint the page in keywords. We're trying to create content that is relevant, but also well-written. So it's like keyword, 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 keyword. When you go and look at that page, you're like, well, that page is definitely not for me. That was for Google. And you really disenchant the visitor. So you have to be really careful about, you know, remember we talked about give the keyword content a big hug. Start with a keyword, end with a keyword, right? So that tells Google that you're not decepting. You're just starting with that concept and ending that concept and then sprinkle it throughout. Remember not rolling it as much as we all like sprinkles. We're not going to roll it in sprinkles. We're just going to be very strategic about how we put the keyword in there. No stuffing. Finally, hashtags. I see this a lot in social media. Now in Instagram, they say you can use up to 10 hashtags, which is fine, but we need to remember that it's also about content first, hashtag second. So I would recommend you not have 50 hashtags. That is hashtag stuffing. Also hashtags work across all platforms. Now they work on LinkedIn, they work on YouTube, they work on Facebook, they look on Twitter and they even work on Pinterest, but be very mindful. Have a core set of hashtags you use on all your posts and then tweak them based on the subject or the content of that post. But don't put 800 hashtags in there. That's also another stuffing practice that you need to be careful of. And also disenchants the visitor who sees all that junk in there, as well as is it about the hashtags or is it about the content? So make sure that you're not going too crazy. So when you think about stuffing, don't stuff the title tag, don't stuff images, don't stuff content, and don't definitely don't stuff hashtags. 
The bottom line is you're trying to create relevant content. Relevant content means those are the things that it's named. The image is named the content, the, the title tag is named the content. You're just trying to point them toward where you want that keyword to rank. That's it. You will not win any points by painting everything you do with a keyword phrase. So just remember it's about relevance. It's not about repetitions and keep it interesting, keep it relevant and make it findable. That's the only way to write really good connected content and stay away from any kind of keyword stuffing.